Hey guys and girls, in today's video we're going to be looking at calculating image size and some AQA GCSE exam questions. Let's get started. To calculate image size there are a few things you need. You need to know the amount of horizontal pixels in the image, the amount of vertical pixels and the bit depth, also referred to as colour depth. Remember that the more bits per pixel, the greater the file size. The formula we're going to be using is horizontal pixels times vertical pixels times bit depth divided by 8 times 1024. There are 8 bits in a byte and 1024 bytes in a kilobyte. Let's have a look at our first example. This image is monochrome and has a resolution of 800 by 600 pixels. Monochrome means there are only two colours in the image. We can work out our bit depth by looking at our powers of 2. We work out how to reach 2 in binary or powers of 2, which is 2 to the 1. This gives a bit depth of 1. This can sound a little bit confusing, so let's take a look at our powers of 2. So we can see here that we want to know how to make 2 from the powers of 2, because 2 is the number of colours in our image. So we have a look at our powers of 2, and the first power of 2 is 2. So that's represented by 1 bit. So you can see here, if we think each place is a bit, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and so on. So if we had 8 colours in our image, and we wanted to know how many bits, we could use our powers of 2 to get to 8. So 1, 2, 3 places. So that would be 3 bits to make eight colors to give a bit depth of three. So let's go back to the example. So we can see we've got a bit depth of one, it's two to the one. So let's carry out the calculation. 800 pixels times 600 pixels times one divided by eight times 1024 gives us 58 Point five nine kilobytes. In our second example, there are sixteen bits, sixteen bit color, so sixteen bit color in the image. We need to work out the bit depth, so we need to make sixteen using our powers of two. So the first power of two being two, the second being four the third being eight and the fourth being 16. So that gives us a bit depth of four or two to the four. So we now have 800 pixels by 600 pixels and we have a bit depth of four. We can carry out the calculation. So here we go, 800 pixels times 600 pixels times four divided by eight times 1024 gives us 234.38 kilobytes, but we've rounded the answer up. Okay, let's have a look at some exam questions. This is our first exam question. How many bits per pixel would need to be used if an image used four colors instead of two? Pause the video and attempt this question. Unpause when you're ready and we'll carry on. Okay, so let's break the question down slightly. How many bits per pixel would need to be used if an image used four colors instead of two? So let's think of it in bits, so, and powers of two. So the first power of two is two, which is one bit. The second power of two is four, which is two bits. So if we got four colors, it would be two bits. So the answer would be two because two to the two equals four. Two bits needed. Exam question two. The image below contains a black and white image consisting of 36 pixels. Explain why 36 bits are needed to represent the pixels in the image shown above. Pause the video now and attempt the question. Unpause when ready and we'll review the answer.
Okay, so the image below contains black and white. So we know it's monochrome, so that's two colors. To use two colors, we need one bit. Thinking of our powers of two, and the first power of two is two, that's one bit. We need 36 pixels to represent the image. So each pixel is one bit. We need 36 pixels to complete the image. So the official answer would be 2 colours needed in the image, so 2 possible bit patterns needed, 36 pixels, 36 bits required. OK, let's have a look at exam question 3. A bitmap image with a colour depth of 1 can represent images that use 2 colours. How many more colours can be represented in an image if the colour depth is increased from 1 to 4? Pause the video now, attempt the question, unpause when ready and we'll review the answer. OK, so the bitmap image with a colour depth of 1, so 1 bit, can represent two colors so we know that already because the first power of two is two it's in the first position that's one bit required how many more colors can be represented in an image if the color depth is increased from one to four so just think of your powers of two and do powers of two to four so let's go two is the first one four is the second one eight is the third one and 16 is the fourth one so you would think the answer is 16. However, you have to make sure you've read the question correctly. And the question says, how many more colors can be represented? So we've already got two colors. So we know the answer is 16. Take away two gives us 14 additional colors. So your answer will be 14. OK, let's have a look at exam question four. State the minimum number of bits needed to encode 32 different colours. Pause the video now, attempt the question and we'll unpause it when ready and we'll review the answer. So state the minimum number of bits needed to encode 32 different colours. We need to make 32 using powers of two. So simply count up the powers of 2 until you get to 32. So the first power of 2 is 2, second power of 2 is 4, third power of 2 is 8, fourth power of 2 is 16, and the fifth power of 2 would be 32. So 5 bits required. And then finally, to just consolidate what you've learned with regards to image size, exam question five is you are given the following information. What would the size be in kilobytes? Pause the video now, work out the calculation using what you've learned today, and then unpause and check your answer. Okay. So the answer would be 32 times 10 times 3 divided by 8 times 1024. Giving us an answer of 0 0.12 kilobytes rounded. I hope that's been helpful. Any questions, comment below. Please like, subscribe and share. Thank you very much.